After adding a new hard disk to your PC, the first thing you need to do is initialize your new hard drive before making new partitions. This process ensures that your computer recognizes the hard drive and prepares it for use. Let's go through the steps together. First start disk management. You can do this by right-clicking the start button and selecting disk management. In disk management, your new hard drive will be listed at the bottom if it's properly installed. Take note of the little red icon, which indicates that the hard drive has not been initialized yet. To initialize the hard drive, right-click on the name of the drive and select Initialize Disk. In the Initialize Disk window, you'll need to select a partition style, either MBR or GPT. Opt for GPT if your computer utilizes UEFI BIOS, otherwise, choose MBR. You can confirm if your computer uses UEFI by going to the system information. Since this computer has UEFI BIOS, I will choose the GPT partition style. Now that the new disk is initialized, we can create one or more partitions from the available unallocated space. To create a new partition, right-click the unallocated space and select New Simple Volume. In the Simple Volume wizard, select the partition size and drive letter, and choose NTFS for the file system type. The new hard drive has been successfully added to Windows. The new partition is now available in File Explorer. This concludes our video. I hope this was helpful for adding your new hard drive to Windows.